and here we are back on the channel with another video thank you for joining me today for the ride and today let's get by this stop sign first today I want to talk about what camera I use for shooting video I get a lot of comments uh, of folks asking me, or a lot, a lot of questions, uh, I should say, uh, asking me what camera I use and the positioning and all of that. So basically, when I first started the channel, I had an Acaso Pro, and that was a cheaper camera that was a little over $100. Um, but I quickly found out because I didn't know a whole lot about cameras you know it's my first time uh, shooting video uh, this is back when my channel first started July 4th of July of last year so just almost seven months and uh, so I uh, got that camera and for the first couple of weeks um, you know, I used it and I would watch back my videos and be shaking my head at the quality. You know, the quality wasn't great. The sound was okay. I mean, it was, you, you could make out what I was saying and all that, but it wasn't the greatest and the video was not good. The camera was not stable. Um, it was just not very good. And I thought, you know, this isn't good. So within the first few weeks there of having that camera, I looked around and wanted to get something that's good, you know, that others are using that have had good luck with it. So I started looking at what's a good camera out there for specifically what I'm going to do, and that's uh, bike videos. So I did some uh, looking around on YouTube, watching other people's videos on cameras, uh, with you know when they do bike videos and what they're using and all and it seemed to, to be a consensus uh, favorite was the GoPro so when I saw that I thought you know I need to look into getting a GoPro so I did I started looking at them and I thought yeah maybe that's the camera for me and so I basically started looking at them and I saw that the GoPro 10, which was the latest and greatest, except for maybe a 360 camera, you know, like the, it was for what they had, it was right there, you know. Um, so I thought, you know, that'd be a good camera. And, but they were pricey. They were $550. And I didn't really want to spend $550. So what I ended up doing was waiting a little, a little bit, not very long, I think almost immediately, with some luck, I guess, the camera uh, became on sale. It, it, it went on sale for, for uh, $350. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to go for it. So I did. I bought the GoPro 10. And then with the other camera, I had a harness. And I tried different positions. You can see a post right here still on this handlebar that I was using. And I used that uh, angle, but... Not many people seem to like that one. It didn't get a good, uh, you know, a lot of good reviews on that one. For some reason, they didn't like, I guess they want to see the dash. So I got another harness. I had a harness before, but I don't think, I wanted to get a better harness too. And so I got the GoPro harness as well. And the funny thing is, I also bought a second battery for the camera, which I have yet to use now that I think about it but anyway uh, let me 
me get by this here. So I bought the camera first, then I bought the harness, and I bought a tripod uh, as well. So, so then I started to use this camera, which I'm using now, the GoPro 10. I and I've had a few incidents, if you want to call it that. If you look back on an older video, uh, quite a ways back now, I don't know the exact date that I posted it, but some last summer anyway, there was one where I had an accident. Well, I guess I didn't have the, the camera tight enough screwed into the, uh, to the uh, chest mount, and the camera went flying off and uh, there's a little bit of scratches and cracked a little bit, but it still works fine, you know, so there was that and then But even before that I tested out the camera Because like for uh, 4k and the reason why I got into looking at the 4k uh, And wanting to I wanted to actually do videos in 4k, but uh, After uh, I guess I didn't dig deep enough at first because after I did some more reviewing looking up on the camera you know on different things about it settings and all that I noticed that people were complaining about if you record in 4k the camera tends to overheat and I did a video just walking around in my town a little walking video like a tour of the town a little bit and that's on my channel as well um, and I did it I shot that in 4k it was my first well it was one of my first 4k videos I think it might have been actually the first one I can't remember exactly but I think it was but anyway because I wanted to see does it really overheat like they're claiming and you know after I started shooting this video it was in the summertime mind you it wasn't extremely hot out that day but it was probably over 80 degrees so I started shooting the video and and exactly as promised after 20 minutes of shooting in 4k the camera cut out it just shut right off it, it got hot and so after that I thought you know what I guess I can't shoot 4k because I don't want the camera to be overheating and so from then on basically I've been shooting all my videos and you probably noticed this in 1080 well there's some pretty nice advantages I gotta say to shooting in 1080 um, and the biggest one well I guess there's one big one I don't know if there's advantages but there's one advantage well there's two I guess if you're editing and piecing uh, the chunks together there's less of them because 4k has a lot of chunks as your video gets put into, into pieces if you know shooting with a, a GoPro camera the other thing is It doesn't take as long to upload to YouTube, so that's the other uh, advantage to having it. So I have not really been shooting in 4K, only 1080, but you know, now that we're right in the winter, I'm probably going to try it again, shooting a video in 4K and just see what happens. And uh, so basically, uh, for those that are wondering, that's what I basically use. I use a, a GoPro 10 camera. I have the chest mount um, that I put the camera on uh, as my uh, camera holder, if you will. And that's how I shoot the videos. And, and you, you get to see the dash right here, you know, which I think a lot of people like. When I, when I go away from this look, 
and put it, for example, on the handlebar, I get asked a lot, you know, about putting it back to the to the other uh, angle. So I have, and I also tried my. I have a Samsung Ultra S22 phone, and when I first got that, I, I shot a video uh, with the phone, but I wasn't overly impressed with with that. And this seems to work out the best for, for me, having the GoPro chest mount. I mean, I haven't tried the helmet, uh, the helmet mount. Um, maybe that's a good one. I don't know, but I, I kind of like this one. I know myself if I'm watching other people's videos biking, I like to see the dash myself. I like to see what's going on here, all the controls, how fast they're riding, and all that. So it's a favorite of mine. I think it's a favorite of everyone out there. If anybody has a comment um, on what angle you prefer, maybe you'd like to see the angle from over here on the handlebar again. I don't. I don't know I could shoot another video and try one in that position and and then I shoot in the wide angle is the other thing that I do and that's pretty much it 1080 HD uh, the frames per second it's been so long since I tampered with it I think I stand to be corrected, but I believe it's 30 frames per second that I have it set at. Pretty sure. And so, so I have this camera, and now I'm thinking, I've had a few people ask me, why don't you have, or what about getting a 360 camera? And I don't know yet if I'd like to get one or not. And uh, so I'm, I, I did take a little peek at the max 360 but uh, I don't know if I want to get one right now or not or maybe I should what do you think in the comments uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know if you think the 360 would be pretty cool to have a camera like that can shoot uh, different angles so uh, I don't know if I'll get one right away, but that could be down the line in the future. The other thing I'm looking to get maybe in the future, and I've spoken about this in the past, is I might get a scooter. Not an expensive one, but a scooter and, uh, and uh, mess around a little bit with that as well. But that'll be down the road, but we'll see how it goes. So like I say, if you have any comments on this video or any comments on any of the videos that you see on the channel, you can leave a comment in the comments below. I do my best to try to get to them all, but the channel is growing, and so eventually here it gets to where I can't get them all. Uh, I can't get to them all. Um, so I'm trying to do my best to get to them um, if I can at all. And uh, I apologize if I don't get to yours, but like I say, I do my best to try to get to them all. But our channel is definitely growing, which is a good thing. But it does make it more difficult to reach out to everyone one-on-one. -on -one. But like I say, I do my best. And so, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I appreciate each and every person that subscribes to the channel. Tell your friends about us. And... Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel. I've been putting them up pretty much every day, but that's not 100% guarantee. I mean, I do my best to get them up uh, every day. I like to shoot uh, a video every day, but sometimes, as you all probably know, life can get in the way a little bit, but we do what we can. And I appreciate everyone for watching this video. And until next time, take care.